Champagne chariot not responsible for broken condoms. Anyone who gets fucked with a bowling alley rubber deserves to get pregnant. Smokey speaking. Hi, Smokey. I'm Frank. Look like your name's Larry. I grab a crate. Try not to fall out. Whoa! What did I just say? Pay attention. Shove your coin sack into the front of your pants. Sack to sack. Say it. Sack to sack. Coin to loin. Don't improvise. This ain't jazz, motherfucker. I know what you're thinking. You're too good for this job. That's why I didn't want to hire you in the first place. You used to be in a big shot. Now you're riding in this hoop there next to a motherfucker that smell like cigars, got diabetes, and got a wife that fucks another man while he's home because she no good and damn well he too tired to come upstairs. Oh, I, I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> yeah, but now you are. But at least you're doing better than the last two guys I tried out on this route. You ain't quit after half an hour and I ain't shot you. Now her your balls are different. They're the queen bitch of the whole operation. They're delicate. You gotta be careful when you're loading them. Pay attention. You slide the balls in. Like this? Don't shove them in like an animal. Slide them in. Like you're making love to your woman. You got to slide them in. Got to slide them in. Captain of your own ship. Ain't nobody telling you what to do. Not even stop signs. Fuck you, sign. Hey, you don't sound so good. I don't feel so good. Sorry, but... I, I got the flu or something. <laughs> Don't think I can make it in tonight. Oh, I'm so sorry you ain't feeling good. Why don't you come on down so I can take your rectal temperature? With my goddamn foot, you lying motherfucker! Smokey, I'm sorry, but tonight's my anniversary and I, I haven't... Your anniversary? Oh, that's important. Don't come in tonight. Where'd you get her? I still have to go to the store. Oh, man, get off the goddamn phone and get your woman a nice present before she ends up like my wife and starts fucking everybody in the goddamn neighborhood. And congratulations. I already lied to my wife about how I got this job. I don't know what lie I'd tell her if I lost it. You's a desperate motherfucker. I like that. <laughs> Catch! You gotta take care of that beautiful wife of yours. Nah, this isn't about that. I gotta get my job back. Frank, you still gotta look after those who look after you. It's not as easy as it sounds. Easier than losing them. I know what I'm talking about. I ignored my Mavis while I was building this empire. She gave me everything and all she asked in return was to one day take a vacation together. See the world. And I kept saying, yeah, sure, someday, someday. But that day never came. And now she fucks the mailman just because he shows her postcards from overseas. You know something? You remind me of my son. He came out of albino, so we shunned him. Sold him off to the circus. We didn't know no better. That's what you did back then. Oh God. Being a father is about making tough decisions. To this day. I never spent that 75 bucks that Ringmaster gave me in case he came back. Tell me, Frank Murphy, is your name Larry? Huh? Is your name Larry? Frank Murphy, tell me your name is Larry. Don't worry, Smokey. I can do this. I used to run an airport. All righty then, Mr. Lindenberg. 